hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this kinetic typographic animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of simple and cool technique inside of after effects and if you want to learn more about motion graphics and other stuff then don't forget to check out my udemy courses links are available in the description and if you're new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any much more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition and we are going to name it as Main Animation. Width I'm going to choose over here is 1920, height 180, frame rate is 30, and duration uh, I'm going to choose let's say 60 second, which means one minute, and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and simply hit on Title Selection. Then I'm going to press Ctrl N and I'm going to call it as Strip over here and let's unlock this uh, lock expect ratio and height i'm going to choose 200 for this comp and simply hit ok then i'm going to press ctrl y to create one solid background and then i'm going to lock this layer then i'm going to select my rectangle tool and i'm going to delete this fill because i don't need that fill and for the stroke i'm going to choose black color and simply hit ok then double click on this to create a complete rectangle go to the rectangle rectangle path and size and simply uncheck this and let's decrease the size from here and let's increase the size from here like that okay so this is going to be my strip now i need to add some text so for the font i'm going to choose poppins let's choose extra bold and type whatever text you want i'm going to type motion graphics and I'll select this text, I'll hit Ctrl C, I'll hit spacebar two times and I'll hit Ctrl V. Now select this text and press Ctrl Alt Home to align that anchor point to the center. Go to the Align tab, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Now press S for scaling option and scale it somewhere around like this. Okay. Now select this layer and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it and let's hide this first layer. Now select this layer, press P for position, create one keyframe at the start, zoom in, go to around 8 seconds press v select this and by holding shift i'm going to move this out of this composition then i'm going to enable this first layer i'm going to select this and then i'll make it apparent with the second one alt click on the stopwatch and let's type loop out expression over here and hit ok like that so we will get this animation continuously in the form of loop if you think the animation is slow simply go to the four second and bring this keyframe over here so animation will work a little bit faster or you can go to six second as well uh, and move this keyframe over here like this okay then let's uncheck this so select all of them and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and let's call it as main strip okay now after that i'm going to select this and i'll go to uh, the effect and presets panel and i'm going to search for one effect called corner pin and simply double click to pin this and then by holding shift i'm going to bring down one four corner over here and then bring one corner over here like this okay so we will get this kind of pen over here like that okay then go to the main animation and press ctrl zero and bring this strip over here like this then let's go to the effect and presets and search for a cc sorry cc bend it effect and simply double click to apply then we will bring this anchor point over here and this anchor point over here like this then we will de increase the bandit size somewhere around like this and press f4 and enable this icon so we can see proper bending effect over there okay so we'll bend it like this now select this and press ctrl shift c to pre-compose this and move all attributes into the new composition and let's call it as uh, let's call it as bending strip bending strip and simply hit ok and let's move this comp over here like this press y for pen behind tool and by holding shift i can easily adjust this point somewhere around over here let's with the help of upper arrow keys i can adjust it somewhere around like this let's make this fit okay now i can select this and press r for rotation then alt click on the stopwatch 
and type uh, open and close square bracket inside that type rotation again open and close bracket type 0 and after that type plus then type 10 star index okay so this is going to be my expression that i am going to use and now all you need to do is simply hit ctrl d several times so to get you will get this kind of structure okay so now if i hit play and if i see this animation i'm gonna get this kind of stuff okay so this is our animation like this now let's select all of the them and press ctrl shift c and i'm going to call it as uh let's call it as collection of strips like this okay now let's go inside this over here we need to adjust it one by one so hit page down button one time select all of them hold alt close bracket to trim up to this right click keyframe assistance sequence layers hit ok now zoom out and let's increase the duration of this comp somewhere around like this then go to the start and let's zoom in a little bit let's select all of them up to this hold alt and open close open bracket to trim up to this then go to the start and let's move this over here so as you guys can see we are getting this kind of strip animation like this okay then after that uh, right click uh, let's uh, not right click but we will add some depth over here so for that i'm going to select my ellipse tool and by holding shift i am going to create one ellipse press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically then we will delete this stroke i don't need that stroke and then we are going to choose black color for it then select this press s and let's decrease the scale somewhere around like this go to the effect and presets panel and search for blur effect and we will apply gaussian blur and then we will increase the blurriness up to 200 somewhere around like this so we are gonna get this kind of stuff and let's make this value 400 like this or press s and let's make this 100 like this so if you see we are getting this kind of stuff now i'm going to select this collection of strip and i'll hit ctrl d to duplicate it then i'm gonna go in my effect and presets panel and i'll search for cc sphere effect and simply double click to apply to create this kind of spherical structure and then increase the radius somewhere around like this then select this right click reveal reveal layer in source project select this uh, and hit ctrl d and by holding alt i am going to replace this effect then go inside this select this go to the effect and pre i am effect and presets and we will delete this blur uh, uh, i mean uh, blurriness and let's decrease the scale to 70 so i'll get this kind of structure okay then press uh, unlink the scale and let's make this 60 like this so i'm gonna get proper whole type structure over here now after that uh, let's try to create another stuff now uh, let's select this go to the uh, shading options over here and we will decrease the diffuse value to 10 and ambient value to 100 like this or let's say 50 or let's say 80 something okay like this i think 100 would be good and diffuse value 40 or let's say 20 maybe like this if i see this in full resolution i'm gonna get this kind of structure now there is another thing we need to do over here is to create adjustment layer animation so let's try to do that i'm gonna right click new and create one adjustment layer sorry not over here but select this right click new and create one adjustment layer and go to the effect and presets panel and search for tint effect and double click to apply and we can swap this color whenever we want and then i'm going to select this and i'm going to bring this layer over here like this okay then uh, we will let's bring this at the top this layer at the top and then uh, we are going to create one ellipse over here and by holding shift i'm going to create one ellipse and this ellipse is going to get act like a mask so hit enter and let's call it as mask then select this press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically now if you see uh, if you go inside our text over here uh, and if you hit u my animation is in the form of loop at 6 seconds so 6 plus 6 is 12 so we can uh, make this animation in the form of loop up to uh, 12 seconds okay 
so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go and zoom in and i'll go somewhere around 12 second over here and i'll hit n because after 12 second my animation is gonna be in the form of loop then i'm going to select this adjustment layer i'll press uh, f4 and i'm going to choose alpha mask then select this layer hit 0 i mean press s for scaling option and initially let's make this value 0 create one keyframe go to around 6 second and let's make this value in such a way that it should cover the entire composition okay then select these two layers hit ctrl d and with the help of open square bracket i'm gonna move this somewhere around over here now select all of this and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as tint effect okay press f4 and we have to enable this icon now select this tint effect and hit ctrl x go inside this and press ctrl v and make sure that this effect should be after this uh, ellipse over here similarly i'm going to copy this tint effect i'll go inside this and press ctrl v and make sure it should be over here okay like this now if i see this animation i'll get this animation like this so let's make this quarter resolution like this over here and i need certain animation for this well as well so what i can do is that uh, i can uh, go to the rotation value and i can rotate it on z axis as well so let's create one keyframe over here hit u go to around 12 second and let's make this one complete rotation so if i see this now i'm gonna get this kind of animation over here like this okay then i'm going to select this i'll go to the effect and presets panel and i'll search for drop shadow effect and simply double click to apply increase the opacity to 100 softness to 400 like this or let's say 800 maybe like this and distance zero and if i make this full resolution i'm gonna get this kind of stuff so this is how you can create this kind of kinetic typographic animation